Hey, what's up? I'm going to talk about any files and my any editor class. So, what any files are are a simple key value pairs system that allows you to, to uh, save configurations or have initialization values on a file that can be easily edit, edited and re read. And um, this is non hierarchical. And try saying that word because it's really hard. And uh, that just means that you can't have a hierarchy of objects or whatever in this file. It only has two levels. You've got your global variables, which is optional. Um, that just means they're not under any section and they have to be at the start of the document. And then you've got um, pairs that are under um, sections. And I'm, I call them pairs. Really, they're called properties. I just decided not to call them properties because that's kind of a reserved name. So you've got your key name and then after the key name you've got an equal sign right next to it and then right after that you've got your value. Sections must have these square brackets around them and then if you want to you can have comments so here's a typical comment with the semicolon. Some people use uh, pound symbols and in the class you can specify your comment character by default it's the semicolon after that it'll handle everything itself okay so uh, now that you know what the any file is oh by the way windows uh, try to deprecate the any file so that you can use or so that you would use their registry hive because they put a lot of work into it but I really think that the registry hive should only be used by the operating system and like file associations and stuff. It shouldn't really directly be used by third party software because it's so easy to make a mess of it and it's just so tedious to delete keys and stuff. Just have files. It's easier. Um, let's uh, take a look at the editor. So I'm going to load up an any file. And this one doesn't have anything in it. So I'm going to load something up that has something in it. And this application itself is really just to debug the class. So I've got a basic grid view here where you can change values. So I'm going to change this to Brian and just modify something. Uh, it, right now the data grid view doesn't update the, the preview here so I had to just hit modify. So yeah my name, my name changed to Brian and it works just fine. Uh, this whole thing right here is just kind of limited. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Uh, maybe I was thinking of making an actual in the editor, but really this is now for just testing my class. Um, so here is the first group for modifying pairs. So you can specify a key name. I'll just modify say bxd and I, I, I do have a method that's going to modify pairs regardless of their section. I don't think this is going to use it if I don't specify section. So I'm going to specify my URL section. I'm going to hit modify and type in a value. And there it is. You can also um, auto create sections. So if the section's not found, URL 222, then it's going to create the section at the end of the document and submit the, the value that you want it to modify to begin with. The method itself is going to return false if there is no pre-existing key to change. Also you can auto create pairs and that's going to occur when the section is found so URL that's the section and we're just going to do save exd33 and it's going to change, try to change the value to gfggg and um, it's not going to find the, the key so it's going to generate a new key under the same section or right under the section header. Um, so We've got delete pairs down here, of course. So you can specify a key name and a section. And it's going to delete the pairs if it finds it. If it finds it, then it, the method returns true. Otherwise, the method is going to return false. Some people indent their, their pairs. So in, I have two methods for indenting pairs. One will indent the pair with a single tab character. The other one will indent with a specific, uh, specified amount of spaces. And then you can just uh, unindent it. Not sure what the uh, remove all method does. Oh yeah, that removes all the comments in the any file. And um, 
delete empty keys will delete empty keys like these uh, host portal keys which have no value if you have a space here it really should delete it yeah it does so that's good forgot to test that and uh, you can re remove entire sections so you can specify your sections every time you specify a section it doesn't matter if you have the brackets in there or not it's going to trim them you can re remove the entire section and it's not going to leave it behind any like blank lines extra blank lines format blank lines will um, basically remove all of the blank lines in the um, content the string array in memory and then it's just going to add blank lines above the section headers unless the section header is at the start of the document of course and right now I'm automatically saving uh, all of the changes to file and reloading them into the text document well not reloading them I'm actually loading them from memory but I am saving them to file I think anyways it's going to all f it's going to load your file up when you construct the object it's going to load it up into memory and all the changes are made in memory and then when you feel like it you just call the save method and it saves it to file and uh, everybody's happy so let's look at some more stuff here show sure, we got our uh, get value method I've got get value and get value of any I do believe get value here is just going to get the value specific to the section if you have the section specified so we're gonna get a value of a pair in the section section or the URL section sorry let's get this map exd value so specify our key hit go and our value is s4m found it up there and I'm using this this these controls in conjunction with the um, the get value methods and the get value general type method I have a method to get the general type of the um, value so that you can retain type safety when you're editing any files let's take a look at that so I'm gonna to go to my any editor class and here's the general type enumeration and that's what the method returns so um, you've got unknown meaning that there was no values present and it can really process the the type of data and if it returns text then that means that none of these below could possibly be the values but there was data in there a precise number a number with more than zero decimal places you got your your whole numbers and then true or false and basically if I take the section out of here and specify any key it's just going to find the first uh, key that it comes across engine console it's text oh yeah let's uh, see how this works out here so I'm gonna uh, get the value for the key uh, the port key sorry it's gonna tell me that it's a whole number and it does a pretty good job of uh, getting the, the general type so down below here I've also uh, accessing the properties of the class so I got zero comments 558 pairs and those are all the pairs that are uncommented and then you've got 40 sections that's it for my any editor class I'm gonna distribute it with my BSF code library and that's only on my website right now um, see you later